Good dreaming, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video to entertain all of you beautiful people out there. It's Tashin the Dream. Today, guys, I can't believe it. I started sweating bullets. I didn't know if I was going to get this game. I, I really didn't. I didn't get it cold. It was 12.30 p.m. I started sweating, but they sent it to me. Praise the gods. Odin, you the man. But let's get straight into this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the, you know what, I even dare say it. The best hero in For Honor. This guy or girl, depending on your gender, whichever one you want to be, so fit, it. So fee it. So fee, so be it. But the Roshi is basically the assassin. It's one of the very two characters that you can play as with the samurai faction. And it is one of the best. It is one of the actually no, it is the only counterattacker in the game so far and basically this character is why I say it's the best is because it's the only one that can easily counterattack your opponents and get a guaranteed hit every single time but I'm gonna talk about that a little later since this is my first for on a video I'm first gonna lay you guys down with some general knowledge of how to do better in the for honor on the battlefield and then we'll talk about more specifically orochi so first thing we're going to talk about is how to win more 1v1 battles and that's whether or not you're playing duel or you're doing brawl which is basically 2v2s or even dominion because it's going to happen you're going to get into a 1v1 fight you're not going to have any help and you're going to have to use your own skill so we're going to talk about how you can bring up that skill and win just about almost all of your 1v1s. First thing I want to talk about, which they don't really tell you in the beginning of the practice mode, is you can cancel your heavy attacks. Now this is a good thing to do when you want to psych out your opponents. There's times when I've gotten into battles and we've basically been both just blocking each other hits. Nobody's gaining any ground, and it's just a pure stalemate. The way to get out of this is to make yourself more unpredictable. And the best way to do this is to be canceling your attacks. Now, you can't cancel your light attacks, but you can cancel your heavy attacks. And the way to do that is you need to, when as soon as you start it up, you can't get mid-swing. It's as soon as you start it up, you have to press the B button or circle, depending on what console you're on. Now this is good because you can cancel it and then you can dash in for a quick guard break and then you can get a quick hit in through that or you can break it and then grab them and then throw them off hopefully depending on where you're at on the stage or what I personally like to do is what I will do is I would cancel my heavy attack, swing from another direction or actually dash back and then heavy attack from another direction. This makes you, like I said, less predictable and it will allow you to get in more hits when you're in a 1v1s also another thing guard breaking your best friend and also your worst enemy guard breaking is so useful in this game because it allows you to stun your opponent for one quick either light attack or heavy attack but it can be parried by quickly pressing the same button that you use to guard break your opponent and remember that because I'm telling you guys right now, people will guard break spam you and you're going to need to stop them by parrying them. But a good thing to do that I personally like to do is I will guard break someone and then try to throw them off the stage or guard break them and get a quick heavy hit in and dash back. But now, enough of the basic knowledge. Let's get into Oroshi. Now, Oroshi is like I said, the only character that has a counterattack. In order to counterattack with her, her move is basically called deflect. And in order to deflect someone's hit, you basically need to block at the exact time that they hit you. So you basically can't use her and guard like the other characters. She can't keep up a guard the entire time. You have to wait till around the same exact moment that they launch the strike. Now, I'm not saying that you can't keep it up a little bit beforehand, 
but she can't keep it up for long like the other characters. The other characters, on the other hand, can keep it up for as long as they want. So, once again, this character is purely focused on counterattacking. Once you counterattack an enemy, you can either go in for a light attack, which is a guaranteed hit, or you can go for a heavy attack, but the heavy attack is a little bit more risky because they can hit you or they can dodge out of it. But this goes back into what I was saying before. You can cancel out of the heavy attack and either go into a guard break or you can swing from another direction or dash backwards and get out of there. Now the Oroshi is made and why I think is the best character is because she has two moves that are honestly, uh, they're amazing. One is the Riptide Strike, which you can see when you look at her move list, is she will step back. And this is good to use when you see your opponent is about to attack you because you will step back and then step back and then step forward with a heavy attack. This is good for throwing off your enemies and getting in heavy hits, even though she isn't a heavy hitter. Another one is Storm Rush. Now, the good thing about Storm Rush is that you basically, once again, you step back and then you take this crouching stance. And you can stay in this stance as long as you want. Or, and then you can play the waiting game, honestly, because as soon as your opponent tries to attack you, you let go of the heavy attack button. You can immediately run in and get in three quick hits by doing the first initial hit and then doing two top light attacks. And that's another thing I want to talk about is the attacks that you can do in rapid successions without worrying about being blocked. Some good combos that I'm going to bless you people with are you can either do two top light attacks, which is the overhead, and step back. Those are guaranteed once you get the first one. They're gonna, the second one's definitely going to hit. You can then, from there, step back into a Riptide Strike. Or another way is to start off your combo with the Storm Rush, which is when you go into the Crouching Form, and then once that hits, go into the two Light Attack Overheads, and then go into a Riptide Strike. And these are basically combos that you guys can use for guaranteed hits, and you can do maximum amount of damage. But that is all I have for Roshi. The rest just comes with knowledge and more having hands-on with the character and just basically practicing with her. But I hope this did help you guys out a little bit in starting off with her and learning how to actually use her with the specific ways. If this did help you guys out in any way, make sure you go ahead and smash that motherfucking like button. And I'll see you guys later. And make sure you stay happy, stay positive, and never give up on your dreams. Bye bye